Chris Murray here. I got a really good question on YouTube this week um, that goes like this. Does Max have the ability to make every face of a given model planar? Like independently, each face is planar with only minor changes to the vertices. That's actually a really good question. And there are several different ways to make faces planar in 3ds max so i'm going to go ahead and show you that really quickly because it's a it's a good question and it's really quick and easy to answer so here i have a polygonal model and i'll go ahead and turn on wireframes so you can see what i have this was a, a basic polygonal model that i threw you know a uh, nerms um toggle on and then collapsed it to editable polys so frequently when you get into the situation maybe you need to work on some of the geometry and you might, might want to make uh, make sure that you're working in a truly planar surface. Okay, so here on the edge of the uh, engine here, if I select a couple of these, I'll go ahead and grab uh, just a couple rows here. And they're curved, but maybe I want to do some extrusions or something like that. And if I go over here and I do extrude, um, even, you know, it'll come straight out, but you'll notice that the the um, extruded surface here is not planar. Maybe I want that. So um, let's say I go ahead and I do the extrude and I want to keep working, but I want these to be planar. How do I do that? Well, over here on the side on the uh, modify command panel, I'm working in editable poly and right over here we have some planar tools. And also up on the graphite modeling toolbar over here under the align panel, these are the same commands that are down here. So whether you're doing it up here or whether you're doing it down here, doesn't really matter. So the first thing and easiest thing that you can do is you can go ahead and say make planar and you'll notice that all of those um, polygons become planar. Now that's the average of the normals. So if this were uh, up here curved, um, it would be the average of the normals. So I just happen to be working in, you know, extruding along the Y axis here. And so those are going to be planar based on the average of those normals. Um, I just did undo, and so you can see it's it's curved again. And one thing that you can do with these is you can actually make sure that they are explicitly aligned to a specific axis. So again, make planar is just average of the normals, and then there's X, Y, and Z, where if I go ahead and click X, you can see that is now specifically aligned to the X axis, so I know that they are flat, if I undo that again, I'll say Y, and those faces are now aligned to the Y axis, which obviously is all collapsed in on itself. It's probably not what we want. And if I say Z, it'll align all of those faces to the Z axis. And again, probably not what we want in this case, but you can be rest assured that all of those faces are now aligned to the Z axis. So that's one way to do it. Another way is with the view align and grid align. So if I'm over here and I have a couple of, uh, I'll just you know position my view here and I say view align, you'll notice that all of the uh, faces have now been reoriented to the view at which I was looking at the geometry. And if I choose um, grid align, it'll align them to the current active grid, which is the home grid. Um, you can create separate grids in 3ds Max and make them actual grids. I didn't know if you knew that you could do that. Um, you can actually do that by using your snaps. If you go over here to home grid, um, you can uh, set your home grid spacing and you can even use a uh, user grid. So you can, if you have a grid helper, you can activate that grid as the home grid. So um, a little tip there that you may not be aware of. So that's how you actually make individual polygons or faces align to a specific axis. Now, taking this a step further, I'm not sure if this was really part of their question, but let's say they wanted the appearance of planar individually planar faces, but they don't want to actually make them planar. One thing that you can do is adjust the smoothing or remove the smoothing. So um, here again, I'm working in editable poly. I'm a collapsed editable poly at this point. And if I come down here and I just say clear all the smoothing groups, you can see that I've taken off all of the polygon smoothing and each polygon has its own individual smoothing and it kind of gives that um, you know, uh, faceted look uh, right on the geometry and then that would actually render in your scene. So good question um, on how to actually make faces planar in 3ds Max. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel and if you like what you see here please subscribe and share this video.
Thank you.